your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Well, welcome home, family. It's your, your mom, mom and dad. dad and Uncle Lee. Hi. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to start. Fantastic to be here. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do like a Wim Hof thing real quick? You're supposed to breathe in all the way. Oh, a breathing Out like 50%. Exercise? Okay. Let's do it 10 times. Ready? Yes. <sighs> Wait, 10 times? <laughs> three no, times, three times. Three times. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up after the first. Wait, why? I'm do you so need, enlightened now. Oh my God, need, I get it. Why do you need to do a? Oh breathing? my God, I see everything. <laughs> why do you need to do a breathing technique? I'm nervous. Are you about to come in here swinging? Are you in a mood? No. Are you in a grumpy mood today? No, I'm not in a grumpy mood. Oh, because I'm we just, all know when just, Evan comes and I just he's have ready zero to zero have... tolerance <laughs> for stupidity. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are you in a let's make them pay? You know how you're. Mm-mm. We've talked about that on the podcast. Oh, the, the when vengeance. you're the vengeance, Evan. The when vengeance. you're like, I want everyone to pay. Like, are you no. in that zone? No, because you starting off with breathing te- techniques is a little concerning. It's concerning. It's like me starting out last week's episode crying. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Which, by the way, I got, so, I got so many nice messages from people. You? It was family. I love you all so much. Thank you for letting me be me. And also, so many people were messaging, being like, "I'm feeling the same way," which mm. made me feel so seen and community. And I just love everyone. But I love yeah, that. I started Beautiful. off um, last week's episode crying, which is yes. why I'm kind of dressed like a. An emo kid today, just being like, <laughs> "Mom, Dad, you'll never understand me. You don't get my boyfriend Joey. I don't even want him to meet you. He can't Nobody come gets to my Nobody gets me." Life. <laughs> but you <start> out. <laughs> <laughs> I, the fact that the Chipotle doesn't open till eleven is so annoying. My you'll life. never get me. You'll never understand me. Um, but you starting out with breathing techniques is a little concerning. No, you know Care what it share? is. No, no, there's nothing that's bothering me. Uh oh. I'm very um. I'm ve- my insides are confused. What does that mean? Like I'm happy. I'm <laughs> frustrated. Like I'm ready for vacation. I'm ready to work. Like my oh, body cannot decide yeah. okay. what I'm supposed to feel today. So you're very much living in your astrology right now because I know mm. um Jessica Lignata, when she looked at your chart, she yeah. was like, You must feel a lot of tension a lot I because do. you have such conflicting signs. I'm very up in the air and on the ground at the same time torn apart i'm really a duality <laughs> which is just one away from like a trinity i don't want to say that i'm godlike i'm just saying that like you know sometimes i think i'm too enlightened oh my God. so i'm i'm feeling the world that like everyone you know what i mean so <laughs> no you sounded like a poet and then started a cult so that's yeah. exactly what happens <laughs> anyway good morning well good everybody. morning it's great to see you great to be maybe here maybe you know what this can do for you right now what this can what <laughs> this can do both of those things yeah it's like you can have fun and simultaneously like you know you're recapping so you're kind of you're doing both oh, i love that right wow i'm healed i knew that <laughs> <laughs> i knew it would help yeah i'm ready to i'm ready to have fun i'm ready to get into this i will say when i'm in these modes talking about this show is therapeutic yeah you know what that makes sense because the past couple days you've been doing a lot of chit chatting about reality tv so i I should have seen this coming yeah it's uh, and that tends to happen Mm -hmm. when you're feeling conflicted let's get i mean let's start talking about let's just get right into this i'm gonna say this right off the top everybody we have hometowns today baby i love hometowns so much Mm -hmm. sometimes it can get a little slow depending on the vibe but i feel like it always shows you it's just that inside peek yeah. into getting to know our contestants a little more and it just thrills me and i have to tell you all this um bachelor nation is buzzing because everyone is talking about how they want our next golden bachelor to be kelsey a's dad I, it's what everyone is talking mm-hmm. about and last week we said we saw the preview of kelsey a's dad and we said who is this the jaw the new marvel superhero who's like the silver fox mm-hmm. jaw i mean and then we got to know him and this man kelsey a's dad we we typed in because the second i saw him i said he's a combination between thanos yeah 
And then you said the, the most interesting man, the Dos Equis guy. Yeah, the most interesting man <laughs> in so the world. We, we He's put, a combo. <laughs> we put a text. We did like an AI image generator. It's exactly what he is. Wow. They I literally, those two things Thanos, in. most interesting man in the world, boom. Boom. Is but the, it's, the it's, Marvel cartoon it's, version of him. It's crazy. It's his face and head. It's I mean, dead I think on. I think everything's dead yeah, on. To be perfectly honest, I think we honest. all look at him as a little bit of Thanos and most interesting man. But I think what's so impressive about him is not only is he like, like large in charge and like hot, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but he's also like tender and sweet. No, no, he's like, he's like you're, you're you're nailing it because it's like the man won. He looks like he won the most attractive man in the world yeah. contest. Mm-hmm. Like if there was a contest, it was like, hey, you can just you know try yeah. to see if you're the most attractive man in the world. He's at least a finalist. Yes, or the judge because he won in previous years. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then simultaneously, when he cried at one point, mm-hmm. when his when his uh, eyes welled up, mm-hmm. when he was talking to his sweet right. daughter. It was like, I felt like his tear could heal our universe. Uh. Like that was like where I pictured it going into a drop, almost like a hole, like in um, Tears of the Kingdom and Zelda. It was like, oh, that drop would quench like the parched earth. Mark's tear. His name's Mark, by the way. (laughs) Mark's tear. That's his new pheromone um, scent that he's putting out. His new cologne. But you know how they have pheromone like cologne yes, that's yes. like supposed to get you like all randy or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's just going to be releasing his tears this this coming fall. <laughs> that's a great branding. And that's Mark's what, tears. So he'll go on the show, mm-hmm. and then every time he cries, he'll bottle it and then sell it. <laughs> I think this is great. I will tell you, I have a friend who uses that pheromone mm-hmm. like perfume, puts pheromones on. It it works. Does At it least- smell? I can't really smell it, but when this person puts it on, people come a flocking in like yeah. a weird way. You won't smell it, but your downstairs will tingle. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm just tingling. Downstairs tingle is not how I wanted to start my morning. <laughs> that phrase is not how I wanted to start my morning. That was a very, you know, like you know, sweet way of putting it. You, I mean, I can get it a lot was, more vulgar yeah, if you want. Not. I mean, downstairs tingle is about as as about as nice as I can go. <laughs> well, I think it's a great idea for Mark's okay, tears. Me too. And I do feel like if this man, the most interesting man in the world, the most handsome man in the world, mm-hmm. the man whose tears could literally heal a kingdom. Um, Zelda. Zelda. I think that he would be, a, at least from what we saw, a fantastic golden bachelor. Yeah. And imagine this. If Kelsey and Joey end up being the final together, yeah. then it'd be like, oh, it's the winner of the Bachelors. Or if Kelsey becomes the Bachelorette, yeah. then it's like, it's the Bachelorette. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. If she becomes the Bachelorette, then it's like, oh, Bachelorette's dad is the Golden Bachelor. But do they ever? I mean, come on now. What a segue. And then I there's crossover, that. crossover, crossover, crossover. <laughs> hey, I'm branding, marketing. But they never do that kind of stuff, do they? I mean, no, they, they don't always give us pick what randoms, we want. Or they always, it's always like. They gave for, us charity, though. Because, so, Okay, they've given us Charity and they've given us Joey, and we wanted Charity yeah. and Joey. So maybe we're on a new path. We're on a new path. And maybe. how far did Joey get? Where was Joey at? Was he was he top two. Top remember? two. He was the yeah. one that okay, you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's true. And guess what? We wanted Charity to be, to be our bachelorette. She's still with Dotton. They're very yeah. much in love. She crushes it on, on Dancing with the Stars. And yeah. then we're like, Joey, we, everyone's got a crush on Joey. We're getting a great season from Joey. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens with him. But I'm just saying. Give I us love, what we want, I love people. the idea. I love the idea. And then she can coach him. I mean, yeah. it's built in. But I do still want Maria as our bachelorette. So That's I not going to happen. I feel conflicted. Don't, how dare she's you? It's not going to happen. There's no way. Why? Because she's, she's just too much. Too, she's uh, You can't like, she's not, she doesn't follow the, the rules. And I feel like they, when it comes to like someone being the lead, they need someone that they can control. Okay. Do you want her to be the bachelorette? Would love it. Well, then you better start manifesting it. Stop yeah. with this negative. I would love it. I'm just saying. Maria like, will be our next bachelorette. They like people that they can control. <laughs> you, Maria will be our next bachelorette. We are just putting it out we'll there. Put it on our vision board. I will tell you this. The people are clamoring. If you think yeah. they're clamoring for Kelsey A's dad to be the next Golden Bachelor, that is a loud plane, by the way. That's Kelsey A's dad. That's Kelsey's um, dad. He's a pilot, of course. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a pilot. He does look like some some shit like that. He looks that. like he could do everything. He yeah. looks like a surgeon. He looks like a pilot. <laughs> he looks like a president. I don't get surgeon. <laughs> I see all of it. I get pilot, you know. Just like, 
you'll be flying with us today. You know, anything that's kind of like welcome. Any, any, anyone who says welcome, you know, like that kind of vibe. I'm trying to think what else you could do. I feel like a surgeon says welcome. No, welcome to your surgery. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't really matter. You know, anything kind of like Captain America-esque. You know what I mean? Okay. He's got that energy. I think he can do it all. And Maria will be our next bachelorette. I, I believe in him. I think he could do it all. He I'm can just do saying it all. his energy, you know what I mean? And Maria can do it all. Okay, before we officially get into this episode, we, about? we do need to take a quick pause. <laughs> Family, it's hometowns this week, so we get to see the ladies' homes or the Airbnbs that the um, show rented <laughs> mm-hmm. out as the ladies' homes. Uh, and I will say this. If I was on the show, there's one thing I can say confidently. If you stepped into my home, you would see that it was full of of furniture from Article, okay? Because after I discovered Article a few years back, it was the only place I ever wanted to buy furniture from ever again because Article.com is full of gorgeous, stylish pieces for indoors and outdoors that are also great quality and great price. We love Article so much in this house. I am obsessed. He's obsessed. He's always on the Um, website. We always have that Article.com tab opened Mm -hmm. on one of our computers uh, to just scroll because the pieces are too good. Over the years, we've purchased a couch, dining room set, chairs, love seats, side tables, and much more from Article. And we're always thrilled. Uh, and yes, thanks to their online only model, they have some really incredible prices too. Their curated assortment of mid-century modern, coastal, industrial, Scandinavian, and boho designs makes furniture shopping simple. Their team of designers are all about finding the perfect balance between style, quality, and price. You just have to go on the website, like we're saying, to see the beauty for for yourself. We are telling you. Um, an article also offers fast, affordable shipping across the U.S. and Canada. Plus, they won't leave you waiting around. You pick the delivery time and they'll send you updates every step of the way. And I can't forget to mention their top notch uh, customer care team that makes sure everything is smooth and stress free. Their care team is amazing. They've helped me so much when I've purchased pieces from Article. Article is offering our listeners $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. To claim, visit article.com slash mom dad and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. That's article.com slash mom dad for $50 off your first purchase of $100 or more. Article.com com slash mom dad check out their website it's gorge um all right so should we dive into this yes. officially hometowns. officially hometowns what are your thoughts lee on hometowns how would you feel if you had a camera crew just like busting into your house uh very uncomfortable right <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i don't even know how i would like go about i know we've talked about this a little bit but i don't even know how i would go about like prepping my family mm-hmm. like i know i can say hey please don't say this but i love my family i feel like they would just they would absolutely wild out and say whatever i'd be like please it would either be like they're saying wild shit or the cameras would be and the lights and everyone would be staring at the camera like the office. Yeah. Like nobody, I'd be like, stop <laughs> looking at the cameras. There's, there's no in between, I think. Do you think, I always trip out on this. Like a lot of people I know aren't super close to their parents. Not, not, not everybody, but like there's a good chunk of people I know that aren't like, yeah, I talk to my mama every day or like I see yeah. my parents all the time. But everyone in the show always is like, here's my family and they mean so much to me. Do you think that just must be a prerequisite to join the show that you have to be super close to your family? No, because we have generally a, it's that's the energy, and I'm going like, yeah, no, that is true. I feel like we do have a lot of we had numerous women actually this season um, who had talked about like, hey, it might be a little uncomfortable meeting my family, but they because didn't I'm get not, to hometowns. That's, that's my point. Like by the time they get to hometowns, it's almost like it's a prerequisite to be like my family is yeah. the world to me. You know what I yeah. mean? And I love the idea of just going back to someone's house and they're like, you, like the three others are like, it's my mom and my dad and my mother and my sister and everybody and my friends. And it's like, and then you just go back to one of them. They're like, this is my cat. And I um, feel like that'd be very realistic. Yeah, yeah. And be like and, uh, a I don't really port. like my parents. They're kind of annoying. So this is my cat. And if you don't get along with my cat, <laughs> yeah. we You're have out. a problem. And, like, and then he spends the time, the whole time, like getting cat allergy medication and showing up and being like, okay, I don't really like cats. That's fine. We can, we can work through this. And she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like interesting. You better adjust my cat. And it's more like it's more like the hoops he has to go through are like lifestyle hoops. 
Yeah. So it's like, we're going to go to my favorite restaurant. And if you don't like this type of food, like we have a problem. And well, it's remember more like, who about- was it? Was it Katie on Zach season who was like, I just moved in and I need you to help build this furniture for me? Yes. That was genius. That's what I'm saying. I, and we loved it. And they went grocery shopping together. Mm-hmm. No, Didn't I didn't have to pay for the I, assembly fee. But I feel like what you're saying, though, is like, would actually really like people would be like, yeah, okay. Now I, I see myself. Look. Are well, you really with your family every week? Like, is this that but much also, of it's a. Like some people are clearly very close to course. their parents. Of course. But then there's a, there's a lot of people out there a who are not, who have parents who are, you know, just not it. Or like, we're, you know, we don't have the same lifestyle and there's yeah. drama and all this. So it's like, yeah, no, to have that representation would be nice for a hometown to, to be like. We need to have one person that's just like, yeah, I don't really fuck with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh, really? Like, yeah, they kind of suck. No, I don't want them. Now, there have <sighs> been people in the past who is who have been like, hey you know, I'm not close or my parents don't want to be on, on camera or, and then they have like friends right. and stuff come. But I like the idea of like, I've never once asked my parents if they're cool with my boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't care what they think about my boyfriend. Why would I bring them into that conversation? You know what I mean? But it's always like, I got to impress the parents and hopefully they'll like me. You know what it's like? It is interesting. It would that be nice to the have common... the occasional person that's like, yeah, yeah I don't doesn't care. really do it for yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he's no. like Joe's like sweet let's just go out to dinner <laughs> oh great <laughs> let's go to yard house oh, thank god awesome. <laughs> no it's true it's true well this uh, specific episode it was quite the opposite because what we experienced in my humble opinion this yeah. episode was the the relationships of the dads and daughters yeah every time. single uh, one of these final women had a very tight relationship with their dad. Yes. And we saw like special moments with all of these women and their dads, which yeah. was making me emotional. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting all sorts of teary. I yeah. just kept looking at Evan and being like, it's the ember one day. And, da, 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 and yeah. I was like, let's keep it together. Yeah. Um, but there were a lot of really special moments mm-hmm. between uh, the fathers and the daughters in this episode for sure. Um, should we just let's just go in order? Yeah, let's get into it. Let's yes. just get in. We'll do, yeah, it, do it in it. order. Yes, let's sound do good. It. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first we are going to New Orleans and we are meeting Kelsey A's family. We're seeing her hometown. Yeah, she immediately starts it out. By the way, she is in a hot, gorgeous white bodysuit. Yeah. that is absolutely giving me subliminal marriage messaging. Oh, interesting. She came out and she was like, "I'm wearing white." Remember this. Now, I don't think she did Guys it intentionally. Don't track with that, by the way. No, I, I hear you. <laughs> There's no way he was like, whoa, I was playing on my but subconscious. It's called, no, but it is subliminal messaging. <laughs> you don't realize it, but we got you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think that's one of those, like, you think we, you got us, and we're just like, whoa, you're like the color of a golf ball. <laughs> Actually, that kind of reminds me. I wish I was golfing. And meanwhile, you're like, oh, we've got him thinking it's about like, oh, the Oh, damn, wedding. I got to go back to the course to meet up with JP. Yeah, exactly, we've been waiting for a round. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, are you saying that when I wear white on a weekly basis, it doesn't remind yeah, you of I'm why not, you wed me? Unfortunately, <laughs> that's not the thing that reminds other things. But I'm just saying that's not the thing. Like, oh, my God, white, that reminds me. All right, noted. Yeah, noted. Noted. <laughs> um, <laughs> but they do a cute little tandem yeah. bike together which is one form of biking I could do as someone who doesn't know how to ride a bike I pr- could probably tandem bike yeah, yes. but I will say that I would, would make it difficult but. it would be difficult because you know it's the balance it's like you're kind of doing it together so if one person's just completely th- like the whole back I mean it would be difficult but I would say it's a better option than solo well it would be then a test for my future mate uh-huh. be like can you withhold me swinging this way and that way and can you <laughs> handle our out. relationship when i'm going back and forth right. this is a metaphor it's all subliminal oh messaging here wow. um also we see that kelsey's seeing a bunch of butterflies everywhere which are um what reminds her of her mom yes. and we have kelsey who is like throughout this um episode talking a lot about missing her mom um, who she lost numerous years she ago. She just was and, on breakdown. Like when you're, you know, when you're, you're, you're like on tap to break down at any moment. She definitely was like at home, probably missed her family a lot, missed the hometown, yeah. was reminded constantly about mom. You know, she, she was crying every scene. Almost. Yeah. Like, no, hundred percent. not crying, like sobbing almost, yeah. you know what I mean? Like it was hitting her hard. So that was one thing I really like about her is that she doesn't, 
she just lets it rip. That's what I was going to say. Something I really admire watching. She's Kelsey not doing a. like the sorry, hold on, give me a second thing. No. She's just, she does the Joey thing. Like car eyes right in your face. <laughs> no, it's true. It's no, like and I shocking. I find it very like I I think that that's really special. That's yeah. a really special quality to be able to like it was hitting her. She misses yeah. her mother, yeah. who she clearly absolutely loved so much, and she's just like I'm just gonna cry. Like, and she just kept she just like just let it flow, and she wasn't trying to stop herself. And you know, Joey was amazing and supportive yeah. through the whole thing. She's extremely open with everything she's feeling which i think is really refreshing yeah and she's extremely willing to let the emotions like move through her yeah she's not doing the thing so i thought that was really refreshing another thing i absolutely love about her is she almost feels like she just showed up to the world yesterday and she's just like did you see everything's just like oh my god God, like last <laughs> like week, polar yeah, she hit a pole, but she's like, I would love to. She hit a ball into the pocket and she's like, oh my God. And then she sees like a butterfly. She's like, oh, like yeah. everything's just like, it's like she just was born yesterday. Like she's yeah. so full of like innocence and love, yeah, it's even like though she's gone through hard times, just yeah. crazy. You would think she wouldn't be like that, but it's absolutely, I will say being with her would be incredibly like weight, like lifted weight. <sighs> yeah, deep She's breath. very like finding beauty in the simple things. Yeah, no, she, I think she would be an amazing, she will be to whoever she's with, I think an amazing partner. Yeah. Definitely encourages that part of life. Exactly, the magic and, of yeah. the simple things, which yeah. is no, and, and, kind and, of a specialty of mine, <laughs> is just finding little magic in everything. It's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, he just laughed a little too hard on that one. But but I will say, it, it no, for someone who isn't quite that way, yeah, I feel like I can see it very quickly because it's like, oh my gosh, like, what is yeah, that? You can spot it's almost a like a spot of Kelsey A. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, what is that? You know what I mean? Like no, it's incredible. Totally, I'm totally. jealous of it. No, it was really, it was actually quite magical to see someone, quite quite powerful to see someone who simultaneously was captivated by every little small touch of the universe yeah. and also feeling grief yeah. and letting herself really walk through grief yeah. like publicly and in front of this new guy that she's with mm-hmm. and and yeah she's she's a really special person she is um they all have a, a, by the way they have a moment where there's a woman in a wedding dress right. and she's getting you know photos taken of her and <laughs> they're e- <laughs> it's one of my favorite moments they're eating beignets and joey's just like he sees a woman and like, oh, check out that woman. He's got a mouthful of beignets. And he's like, how, how does that make you feel? Well, I've seen that woman in a wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to ask these kind of questions. Oh, so, you know, how long do you think you no, want to wait? literally yeah. like powdered sugar everywhere. He was just like, so, how does it make you feel seeing that? <laughs> does it make you want to get married or no? Just so this, it was like producers like shove some woman in a wedding dress to like just have to start a potentially uncomfortable conversation, quote unquote. And Joey's like, oh yeah, I have to ask this. We're trying to enjoy a yes. yay. Yes. Um, but you know, Kelsey, they have the moment where she's just like, you know, I'm scared of getting my heart broken. And he's sucking his fingers. He's like, totally. yeah, me too. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> no, he literally goes, and he was just like, yeah, you know me, I'm super scared about that. I'm like, can you give these people a moment to just eat their beignets in peace? Okay. My God. They're like, you'll get one beignet <laughs> per question. <laughs> but like, yeah, she was, you know, she's like, I'm scared of getting heartbroken. Yeah. And they have that like conversation that they keep having over and We've over had again. A million times. About Joey, um, you know, being nervous that the person won't choose him ultimately. Yes. Um, and then we end up meeting. <laughs> I just thought of him just being like, you know, my f- biggest fear is person not choosing me at the end they're like yeah we know <laughs> we know i just i just did i tell i wasn't sure if i told you that <laughs> damn they look so good oh <laughs> take me there then yeah oh, looks yum. incredible um but <laughs> anywho um then we meet uh kelsey's family which we've already mm-hmm. talked about um mark her father yeah. the statue of a man that i would yes. follow anywhere on this planet um and he simultaneously like you said just has this lovely heart of gold mm-hmm. he immediately when kelsey says it's mom you know 
I was seeing butterflies everywhere and it made me think, oh yeah, mom wants to be on camera. Like, of course she's here. And her dad's like, talk, speaking of being on camera, look what I brought. And he pulls out an album with all the pictures of Kelsey's mom. And, you know, then Joey gets to see Kelsey's mom. He's like, you know, this person that now he's heard about all this time. Mm -hmm. And they have just a very tender moment looking through the album. Mm -hmm. um, then, you know, I feel like Kelsey's hometown went kind of as seamless as it could have gone. Yeah, it just went super smooth, super easy. You know, dad, the fact that he was so gentle mm -hmm. with both of them about it, I don't know. I, th I feel like, it, and then the sister too, I just feel like it really speaks to like not getting ahead of yourself, not over complicating things and just yeah. being like, hey, I, I trust my daughter. And yes. I think that's the thing that came well, through with him is like, I trust my daughter. It was, I don't know about this whole thing. Like, he seems like a great guy, but the I trust my daughter thing came through. Yeah, no, 100%. In fact, he said something like, um, it was such a great line. It was something like, my choice for Kelsey is who Kelsey chooses. Exactly. And I was like, damn, that is that is beautiful. And, you know, he had this whole, you know, he's got to get in the superhero vibes. And yeah. so we were like, oh, it's going to be a tough sell. And, you know, he heard Joey. And Joey also is an absolute pro at this. Joey was built to... He chat really with is. families because you know he's a great communicator he's a great listener he's all the things and so he's like sitting down and listening to all of the family's concerns and moments and he's like i remember everything that i need to say with my relationship specifically with your kiddo that's going to help ease your fears yes. he's always he does always say the right thing he's also has a very non-threatening energy 100 percent. like yeah. his energy doesn't scream like What's up? Yeah, no. Got you. You know, <laughs> he's a season. Your daughter's like, wild. You know, he's, he's like a respectable that. person. It's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he's very good at putting. You know, some people are built for introducing them to your parents. Yes. You know what I mean? Like certain people are built for like. Oh, yeah. Even if this person's horrible, they'll be amazing in front of my oh, parents. No, like 100%. he's one of those. Like he's incredible at meeting the parents. If I was a parent, I would trust Joey. Exactly. I would trust I Joey. And Joey does say something interesting, which okay, let's let's talk about what Joey said, which I right away like kind of tapped into um after this next quick okay. pause here. Family. This podcast is sponsored by Caden Lane. Okay, this is my child's newest obsession. Caden Lane was started in 2005 by a single mom who wanted to create better and cuter clothes, accessories, and keepsakes for her own children and for those special moments you remember forever. Caden Lane has so many amazing products and they are on a mission to make caretakers lives easier and let me tell you that shows up in so many ways specifically it shows up in their color me pajamas that help make bedtime fun and enjoyable this this is Ember's current obsession, okay? The Color Me Pajama Sets. They're basically a coloring book for your kids to wear to bed. They come with machine washable markers and they keep your kid busy for hours. Ember, it's been so cool. She gets to just draw all over these pajamas, her own fashion design and that she gets to wear to bed. She loves it. I'm telling you, you have to check out their website to see. It's the coolest idea for your kids or it's a great gift idea too. Yeah, I feel like this is... Such an ember vibe. It's such an ember vibe. <laughs> she, she loves, loves this it stuff. So uh, you see a lot of these brands go viral and wonder if they're really worth all the hype. Well, Caden Lane absolutely is. They have over 70,000 five star reviews and millions of customers uh, for a reason. They really do have so many amazing pieces. You got to check it out. Like Caden Lane's new swim collection. Um, keep your little one's sensitive skin safe with their UPF 50 plus skin protection swimwear. It blocks 98% of harmful UVA and UVB rays and minimizes the sunscreen fights we all know and <laughs> <Yes>. love <laughs> uh, and best of all they also have premium quality matching swimsuits for the entire family oh my gosh everybody ember has been here lately for the matching fits and you know i'm oh, thrilled yeah. about that i'm like yes please um they've got the matching swimsuits they also have their famous matching family pajama sets for upcoming holidays like saint patrick's day easter and more and if you're like i've been looking for a brand for personalized kids clothes i finally found one that i love in caden lane you can personalize a wide range of their products, whether it's a t-shirt, puzzle, blanket, or even a swaddle. I'm telling you, 
Kate and Lane, it, they have so many good things. It's literally, it's endless. It's truly incredible for you, for your kiddos, or if, as amazing gifts like their maternity mommy and me hospital sets, overnight bags, and more. Please go check out their website. Kate and Lane is your one-stop shop for all your newborn, infant, and toddler apparel. Head to kadenlane.com slash momdad and use code momdad for 20% off your first order. Once again, that's C A D E N. L A N E dot com backslash mom dad for 20% off and make sure you use our promo code mom dad so they know we sent you kadenlane.com slash mom dad code mom dad. Um, those pajamas are so much fun. Yes. Everybody, you've got the color me sets. I'm telling you, they're so cute. Um, okay, so what I was gonna say about Joey is what I immediately noticed in this first sit down with Captain America, aka Mark. Yeah. Um, is he said that he's intentionally been holding back to not hurt people. Yeah, like he's not going out and saying, I love you. And I marked that down, but I also think just the energy in general, because I think we have talked a little bit about like, okay, Joey's an amazing listener and yeah. he's there in such amazing ways for, it seems like almost everyone on this show, um, but we don't know tons about him. And I'm wondering if that's First of all, if it's editing, but also if it, if it, a lot of it has to do with the fact that he's intentionally holding back to not get too attached, like to not make anyone feel like they're too attached. Yeah, but I think it's <clears throat> also what could bite him. No, you know I, I mean? no, like I think you you're gotta, right. You got to play that balance, right? It's like you start telling everyone you love them. Yeah, you have a Gary situation. Right. You know what I mean? Where it's like, wait, you've told everyone you're, you're in love with them, and then the stuff stuff. So that he played it too far. Yeah. I feel like Joey's playing it too close to the chest a little bit yeah, where he's not no, giving right. enough people enough to go off of. So yeah. then everyone's kind of like, even we talk about it, it's like, we don't even know who he likes the most because yeah, really, there's really no don't way know. to know because he doesn't give them anything more. Yeah. So I feel like that's probably why he feels like people leave him. I bet if he, Dove in a little harder. Mm. Like he's, you, he's clearly got the wall up energy a little bit to me. Do you think though he maybe once he's like actually like solid in something, then he'll dive in? Yes. Okay. But I think probably what happens is he, you know, the he plays a little steps. too soft and then people or maybe uh, fall safe, away or whatever. And he goes, oh, what the heck? And it's like, well, I don't think you're realizing how little you're giving. That's yeah. the energy I'm getting. He might not be, you know, like again, editing, who knows? But we are always talking about how we have no, we, we never have any idea of, how he who, feels about anybody. Yeah, who, or at least who his front runner is. Yeah. We're like, oh, he's in love with everyone. And then they'll cut her and like, oh, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, so. that's true. That's very true. Yeah, no, I just, I immediately noted that because I was like, oh, okay, yeah. there's a little clue in to the way that he's like, his, I guess, quote unquote, strategy in this is, is to hold back. It's but very sensitive. It's it very is, kind and sensitive. It's it is very, very putting kind. others first. I'd prefer that. Right. I, I'll tell you what, if I was one of the women, I'd prefer right. you hold back and put up a little bit of a wall and then not necessarily tell me that you're in love with me and then yank, you know, the day right. before be like, never mind. Well, I was, exactly. but I also, you know, I'm going to choose this person instead. Right. Um, but it's interesting that he's, yeah, simultaneously saying that his biggest fear is not having someone be there in the end, but then he's holding back. Yeah. It, it might sense. be, it's sensitive and kind, but it might end up being a Too concoction for, <laughs> yeah. for what we see where, you know, we see in the preview him holding that note where someone's like, I need to talk. Exactly. So we'll see what that's about. Exactly. But, um, so, you know, anywho, going back to, to, uh, Kelsey, Kelsey and her dad have just the sweetest moment where she's talking about how she has seen what a good husband is because of how her dad was to her mom. And that moment was like yeah. really emotional. And um, she's like, dad, I think I love him. I think I love him. And her dad's response is, I love you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just a mess. We're all yeah. a mess. We're all piles of, of tears on the floor. And her dad ends up saying in ITMs that he hopes that Kelsey comes back engaged. Yeah. So Joey definitely got the approval mm -hmm. of Mr. Mark. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> he definitely got it. Yeah. And I think, I think. When you see the dads too, that have the I would I am slash or was madly in love with your mom, yeah, energy, yeah, and they seem to have a little like a, some hope. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like this when might they work have because because he even said, "I just hope that you have what I had with your mom," yeah. kind of thing. So I think when you've had like a incredible love and connection, I think it kind of 
maybe slows down your judgment on the process a little bit, it seems like. You yeah. know, it seems like, oh, I, you can be starry eyed. You can get swept up in something. Right. This could be that for you. you yeah. Know? No, I hear you. I hear you. Well, you know, he's, again, he's got the approval, not that, yeah. not that he needed it, because, again, we love that, uh, that Father Mark made clear that his choice is whoever Kelsey chooses. Yeah. And we love to see that. But, I mean, listen, smooth, they, they, easy. It's, it's perfect. And, and I'll say this in general, all these dates went so smoothly. Really smooth. They really went so smoothly. And when we, skipping ahead to the elimination, mm-hmm. um, when he ends up cutting Maria, that's when I really realized, I was like, when I saw all of them standing there, I was like, Rachel, Kelsey A, and Daisy are three of the women who it's gone perfectly smoothly. Mm-hmm. There's not been one what if there's not been one? I mean, you could say Daisy saying, that's the only one, I guess, Daisy saying, I don't know if I'm there yet. Yeah. But he seems to not care because he seems so over the moon. Mm-hmm. But in general, Joey hasn't chosen three people who everything's gone like so smoothly. There's never been yeah. any hitch or drama. So it seems like Joey very much um, enjoys or wants to go through this process with someone where there hasn't been like any drama or yeah. anything. He he is a he does not like the drama. <laughs> I agree. I agree. He clearly, clearly, well, clearly. We see that later. <laughs> um, but next up, we have Rachel's hometown, and they are in Rancho Cucamonga, not Hawaii. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So she says that she's she lives in Honolulu, Hawaii, I believe, and I believe all the rest of her family lives in Hawaii as well. Yeah, I don't she think said something about like they, they came here and gave us like a taste of Hawaii or something. Yeah, I think so that like... they were then, but I don't. I think that I don't know if anyone. I don't think anyone lives in Rancho Cucamonga. I think it was just. They couldn't travel to Hawaii, okay. if I'm gathering that correctly. Yeah, they're like, we don't want to pay for that. <laughs> I was like, for I was real? Like, Dude, that'd be the one I would like stand on and be like, we're going to Hawaii. But yeah, maybe a cousin lives at that house and they, you know, but it could just be an Airbnb. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm pretty sure the entire family is came in Hawaii. to, yeah, came, okay. which is, by the way, can you imagine your whole family flying from Hawaii to Rancho Cucamonga to do this. Like, talk about a family that loves you. Like, there's That's no true. way. There's no way my entire... <laughs> because Rachel had her full family there. She yeah, had her cousins, uncles and cousins. Kids. She had her entire family show up to celebrate her and Joey. And I was like, damn. I mean, that is love. <laughs> this yeah. family loves celebration. <laughs> yeah, it it was... would not happen for me. Love so, all of you guys. My family but it would never happen. I love all three of you. Um... But like, <laughs> I mean, you have like the smallest families ever. Families are so small. um, but I've always she she has the family of the kid that I would just kind of sneak into their family gatherings. Oh, because you just love the, the family. Yeah, so like much. I would be best friends with Rachel. Yeah, and then like just be like ditching my Christmas to go to their Christmas. <laughs> 100%. I would always do that. I always find the kids with a huge families and be like, I'm just, will you adopt me? Like because, the loving big families. That you're like, oh, oh they're goodness. just like yeah, doing games and having all this epic moments and laughing. You're just like, this is awesome. You know, <laughs> yeah. like this is people are doing life together. And that's like, that's what I'm seeing there is just like family with tradition and energy and love for each other. And they're all crying over each other. And I'm just like, dude, this, <laughs> that would be huge. Like if I was dating multiple, then Rachel was like, man, that would be a big attraction to me is yeah. to be like, wow, to be adopted into that energy and that environment would be so fun. hundred percent. So like, I would be very, I don't know. I think it's just fun and awesome. And if you grew up like that, like that, talk yeah. about a, a support system. And 100%. I think that's what I took away from the the family was they com- they constantly were talking about the support system that they are to her. Well, so basically, like, no matter what happens, you have us. No matter what happens, you have yes. us. And I was like, damn, that's amazing. Yes, they were there for Rachel, mm-hmm. and we get to know a little more about Rachel. Um, when we find out that she had been in a relationship that, that was really bad, that was something. super serious, that mm-hmm. then took a turn and it was bad because we hear her family um, talk about it a lot that they're really nervous that she's going to get hurt in this yeah. process because she's been through a lot and her all of her family members, her dad, her her mother, her sister, they were crying talking about like Rachel's such a good person and she's been through it. Like I don't want to see her go through it again. So we don't really know specifically what went down in that relationship, but clearly it was a tough one. You get um, the energy that there's like we pieced her back together, sent her back out. 
Yeah. And is she going to come back in pieces again? You know what I mean? Right, like, uh-oh. right. You know, almost like, do we really want to? That's That seemed to be the nervousness. It had, had very little to do with Joey. Right. Their interest in him. No, and, they and, seemed like, to they really. They seemed like fine. He was great. was great, yeah. But it was far more about like, are we going to have to put her back together again kind of thing? 100%, 100%. The fear of that. And we also get to see different, like, or different moments with Rachel because Rachel through this whole process has been, you know, we haven't really seen her rock, crying she's a lot. Solid. She's been rock solid. We get those moments with her in the ITMs where she's like, you know, she's funny. She's quippy. She'll throw it out there. I love it. But we've, yeah, she's been rock solid. Mm-hmm. This moment with family, she's crying yeah. the whole time, mm-hmm. right? So she's from the start, the moment she walks in, she's she's crying. And to the moment that she sends him away, even though she's it's happy tears, she's just overcome with emotion. And... You know, we're seeing this different side to Rachel where then I wonder if she's had her guard up through this process as well Yeah. Um, to just be protecting herself after getting hurt. But now all of a sudden, now after being with her family, it's like she's able to just feel fully like, you know, free and let the tears out, um, which we'll see then with Fantasy Suite because we see her then talking to Joey about the other women. Like yeah. now is she fully cracked her heart open like, will she get hurt again? Which makes me nervous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, but overall, again, as much as hers was the, maybe the most conversations about, like, I'm worried about our kiddo getting hurt, it yeah. still went flawlessly. Like, it went so well. Yeah, like, there's always one family that's, like, a little bit more, like, hesitant of this process. Yeah. And if, if they filled that role, it was right. like about as like well, I guess we had well, we had, we had Maria's get. dad too, but like, but both yeah, were but like, we'll bo- talk about that. <laughs> but, but both were like, hey, I'm I'm concerned, and they were all very valid concerns, and yeah. it was just like, hey, but we support <laughs> and trust our daughter and or our family member, but yeah. like, you know, we just don't want her to get absolutely devastated at the end of this. But you know, overall, I I really enjoyed Rachel's um hometown. That it was just so amazing how they brought in all the traditions, Joe. We knocked out of the park mm-hmm. when Rachel was just like, "Hey, here's the hand gesture yeah, with my the, mom," oh, yeah. and they loved it. And they, it, you, and it, like, they awesome. loved it. That was so beautiful. And they like brought in all the different games and they brought in the different traditions. It was so warm and fun. Yeah. Liam, the little one, was a star. He was walking up to that cornhole game and would just drop it. In yeah, and everyone he'd would wind cheer. up <laughs> and, and go. <laughs> he was so cute. He was really cute. He was probably like this two or three year old kid. He'd walk up the cornhole ramp do a full wind up and then just drop it in. I was Aww. like, give us more It was more very Liam. cute. The whole thing, the whole vibe was super cute. Rachel and her dad, another yeah. moment where we see, um, you know, he's like, I've never seen the show <laughs> I before. I do love that. It is kind of funny to have not watched an episode at this point. Well, I think he has like now because he said- Like your daughter's on the show, you're like <laughs> months in it, like a month in and you're just like, yeah, I still haven't watched it. That is kind of funny, but it kind of reminds me of like, my dad, my dad, 100 percent would be like, yeah, I still haven't watched it, but like, um, and he gave, yeah, he even sure. gave the advice my dad would give, which is like, he's like, yeah, I know that, uh, you know, you're having fun and everything, but uh, just don't kind of get too excited or too sad about <laughs> sure. this whole thing. Just kind of keep your emotions keep real it, yeah. in the middle there. Don't really, it's don't go anywhere with this. Like, don't get lost. I thought it was interesting though. One thing I did note was she said to her dad, like look at me do something crazy again she has she's the she kind of said one. the like dad almost like she was her like her dad views her as like the one that kind of is more impulsive chances. or yeah. something and make and does crazy things compared to like the way he thinks because she kind of yeah. was like here i go again dad and i was like rachel gives me like very much not, i mean i see you nurse right, like, so I'm yeah, saying, she yeah, gives yeah. me very much not the person that does that but probably yeah. according to her dad or like her dad is not a big risk taker yeah. energy. So she's like, here I am again, dad, which I thought was interesting. Um, but he, uh, he just seemed very uninterested in like the whole thing other than just like, you know, Rachel, are you going to be okay? Yeah. Like, are, like this is all fine, but no, like he, this is going to go away here. Yeah. Are you, are you being cool? Cause I don't want you to get too yeah. excited about this. Cause the chances are not good. You no, know, he was playing loving father in the way that it's like, you know, I love when then Joey sat down with him and he's like, you know, I know that you guys, be like traditional he's like no i'm very not traditional in many ways he's like but in the at the end of the day you know i i want my daughter to be okay like (laughs) this is all fine but like i'm concerned about my daughter and i like the way that her dad handled it too because when he said hey you know i do 
want to be able to uh, ask for your blessing if I yeah. proposed to her. I loved it because her dad wasn't like, oh, she needs my blessing. Right. Her dad was like, hey, if you want to do that, you have my number. You can call me yeah. before you ask her the question. Yes. But like, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, be one of like the yes, yes, yeah. sure, sure, He's sure. He's like, I'll it's give like, you my email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can send she me has email. my email. And if she decides to give you my email, then that's fine. Yeah. And if you're going to do it, then go ahead <laughs> and ask. A, again, they gave him a nibble. Yeah. Just a nibble. But it was, I like, I liked it because it was like her dad was like simultaneously like very kind. He wasn't a dick. And sometimes that can be the case where 100%. it's like, I don't know about you. And he wasn't doing that. No, he was, no. Her dad was super kind mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he was like super like welcoming into the family. But it was also just like, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to. I also love how like, if you're not cool with the show, like you're traditional. <laughs> It's like, you know, there, there's kind of a balance between like, you know, an Amish marriage and like getting married on a television show. Like, I don't think, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe in yeah, the no, middle, yeah. you know what I mean? But like, it is funny how it's like, I know, you know, you're pretty traditional guy, so this must be interesting for you. It's like, I think this would be weird for the <laughs> most progressive or the most like advanced mm-hmm. thoughts of like marriage ever. It's like, it still is just a TV show. Like. If you are not involved in television at all, no, you're, you're still like, thinking what is this, this is not traditional or not traditional. It's a gimmick. Like, right, right, at, right. You know what I mean? If you're not involved in this process and you've never even seen the show, you're thinking to yourself, gimmick. Yeah, sure, sure, So it'd sure. be really hard. You know what I mean? So when he goes, I know you're not really a traditional guy. He's like, ah. He's like, no, no, that's he what goes, we're talking about He's like, here. in most ways, I am actually not traditional. <laughs> yeah, it was just funny how like that that was being brought up no a hundred percent a hundred percent but we do then also have the moment as well another like a dad and daughter moment with rachel and her dad where she's just like i love you so much and he's like you're gonna make me cry it's just so many very like strong Mm -hmm. father daughter Mm -hmm. relationships and then and then um rachel's mom noella sits down with joey and he joey really i mean he knows how to do this he like a therapist looks at her or some sort i mean maybe not therapist maybe like a hypnotist yeah. <laughs> looks at her and goes i can feel your hesitancy and i understand it he literally is just like just so you know i i do work in energy and i can feel your hesitancy and he's like, a close your eyes <laughs> i'm going to feel your energy no but genuinely like yeah. he 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 that that is would make a parent feel comfortable. You're like, yeah. I know how to do this. I'm like, Hey, I just, so you know, I feel your energy and I can tell that you're hesitant about this and I get it. Like I completely understand. And she's crying and she's talking about Rachel getting hurt. And you know, again, her, her mom seemed of the similar mindset of uh, her father where it's like, Hey, you seem wonderful. We really like your right. vibe, all of this, but we are very concerned about our daughter getting hurt because we've seen her get hurt somewhat recently. And it's always, it's always nice to see someone super strong cry. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, Oh, okay. Yeah. And she, you know, she's like queen vibes. Yeah. She's like, you know, she's got that energy. Like she kind of like runs the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when she walked up and he even did the hand thing, he looked behind. Yeah. She looked behind at all the other women and was like, oh, you know, it's almost like a, yeah, she's mama. I set the pace. Yeah. And so the level that she cried talking about Rachel was pretty intense. It was yeah. clearly like, that's my, I name. really care for her. And like, we've been through a lot together. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I, she was so genuine. I think that's what it was like. Incredibly genuine. Well, I feel like Rachel's parents did a very good job of making it known that they are, have their concerns about this process and not making it personal to Joey. They did a very good job of that. Like where it's like, I think a lot of times, sometimes you see these parents who don't have an actual problem with this person they don't know, but they're like, I just don't feel comfortable with this process. It makes me feel weird. And instead of communicating that, they just dump it on the lead. I thought they did a very like lovingly kind job of being like, you seem wonderful. Yes, agreed. But we're just nervous for our daughter, (laughs) you know? Um, And then we, she ends up though having a conversation with her sister and her sister has more of the energy of like, give it a shot. You know, we're here for you. Um, But Rachel's really good at, taking all the info and then making her own deso- making her own decision. I she kind of was say, always, she was in this vote of like, yeah, I'm crying with you, mom. I'm crying with you, dad. I, mean, I know this and I know that and crying with you, sister. And I, but not going, 
I'm so torn now. It's like, it was just like, I hear you all. I'm going to make my own decision. I was going to say, at the moment when they sit down mm-hmm. and she started crying, I was like, oh no, is this now her saying, I don't know if I can do exactly. this. And she was like, no, 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 they're, they're good tears. They're good tears. She's like, yeah, you know, my parents were saying all these things because they're nervous for me because of what I've gone through. And it was good to hear all those things. And it, it also really helped me see where I'm at and I am falling in love with you. And I was like, damn, that's awesome. Yeah. You know, yeah. just being able to take in the info Mm -hmm. and then move forward and then know that she's got this amazing family who's going to catch her if anything happens. Yes. Um, But okay, one more quick pause and then we'll talk about Daisy's hometown. Um, Family, this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. I have to tell you all something about me. This is a true fact. I spend a lot of time thinking about how quickly time flies and how I wish that I had more time. I think about that a lot. Mm. Um, I know it's intense. I know it's intense. But here's the biggest question. More time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? I feel like the best way to soak up life and squeeze that special thing into your schedule is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. Therapy can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. I know therapy has absolutely helped show me my priorities. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Yeah, therapy has helped us both in so many ways. Uh, It's helped us individually with our boundaries and growth curves. It's helped our relationship, our parenting. It's absolutely helped us with our priorities. I know personally, it's helped me discover my work 24-7 tendencies and how I want to balance that out and why Uh, we love therapy. BetterHelp is entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. They really do make it easy over at BetterHelp and convenient to make sure you're prioritizing you because taking care of you is very important. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash momdad today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash mom dad all right next up we have daisy's hometown and guess what everyone it's christmas all year 24 7 and i'm happy yeah people (laughs) people can really be a product in their environment you know what i mean and daisy's always had the kind of the hallmark energy the hallmark (laughs) you're that's that's the i was trying to figure out how to say it the hallmark energy is exactly her energy so we're, we're going to minnesota to visit the christmas tree farm that used to be her family's i think they used 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 to be tense which by the way kind of did make me giggle to think about that someone else owns it now and they're like kind of showing up to the festivities like <laughs> hey how are you doing yeah, and they're like, like who of, are these people like kind of big dog in it you know what i mean and they're like we don't know who you are <laughs> like this used to be our christmas tree farm and right now- <laughs> right but like of course they sold it to move back to the north pole <laughs> but of course and um <laughs> so it's like yeah it's so picturesque yeah. like everyone's in plaid you know, everyone's walking amongst like like leaves on the ground. She picks him up and it's like, hey, hop in this this horse drawn carriage that's filled with poinsettias. OK, <sighs> they're driving through Christmas trees. I'm crying because yeah. it's literally my dream. OK, if you all didn't know this about me, I'm sure you did. But I listened to Christmas music two weeks ago okay Mm -hmm. i listen to christmas music all year because when i'm in a crying mood i'm going to the christmas carols Mm. i love christmas more than literally anything yeah and so the idea of being like oh your whole life is christmas 24 7 i'm like i would make this my personality i have you call me mrs claus like I, i would lean in so hard so watching this and then when they ended up back at like the barn with the hot cocoa and the alpacas i'd be like i would drive four and a half hours to visit this place and this was where she grew up incredible it was so <laughs> truly incredible and this just struck me this bullshit <laughs> what? think about it it's it's it, the idea is that you're going to visit the family and you're yes. kind of selling yourself to joey in a way slash he has to prove himself but there is this like look at my upbringing look at the magic of it look at all this rachel gets rancho cucamonga no i know (laughs) but should have been the beaches of hawaii yeah 
Like if I visit your family and we're walking on the beach, I know talking about our relationship. That is magical. I was going to. OK, so I was going to say this. I'm like, Kelsey, she got shortchanged for Kelsey that. Kelsey and Kelsey and Daisy they definitely the had the setup. upper hand in this because Rachel and um, Rachel and Maria both were in the situation yes. where they weren't in their actual they weren't home. In the environment. They weren't in the city that they live in. They didn't. They weren't in their parents' homes. Like that. And that, that's what I'm when saying. When you are in that situation, you do have like the power move upper hand. And they didn't get oh, that. Which Kelsey is, which gets to, is they walk down, you know, Bourbon Street, do a yeah. whole thing, and then she gets to be like, look at the the tree farm with Santa Claus in the corner. I know. And they're like, welcome to Rancho Cucamonga. You're right, like, what? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's some horse shit. Anyway, just wanted I mean, to I, shout that I out. I mean, it was beautiful. No, no, I'm it was happy great, for Dave. We love it all. But everyone should have been able to have the exact same experience where you're like, you get to be in there. Yeah. That could be a, like a factor where you're like, wow, of I course. felt so magical on the tree farm sure you know what i mean yeah and like hanging around her friends and plaid i was gonna that say that could be like a 20 a five percent tweak i was gonna say by the way we see all of a sudden daisy's friends show up to the tree farm i don't know if we've ever seen a whole group of friends they really put they're really they they love Daisy. They love They're Daisy, like, which I get. She's absolutely she's amazing. I'm she's amazing. But they like, should not love her. I'm just saying they really gave no, her the works. No, they really gave her the works. They did. They, they had the full tree farm. They had the friends, all of it. Yes. And like, I mean, they were making ornaments to put on the tree, talking about like their future. They have some sort of snow machine that they're like pushing through kids yes. to get to. <laughs> like, yeah. it was it was truly yeah, magical. It was magical. If I would have been Joey, especially how I'm wired. You yeah. put me to on a Christmas tree farm. I'm like, this is who I'm choosing. Right, right. Like, no questions asked. Um, but then we end up going back to Daisy's home, which yeah. also is so picturesque. It's mm -hmm. very like father of the bride energy from the outside with a swing set swinging. It's just, it's all quite magical. Um, and we meet her family, um, who again another absolutely lovely family. We have a moment, and another another moment where everyone's there we got grandparents there okay like i don't we i don't feel like we ever really see extended family yeah. outside of like you know the brothers and sisters showing up like we're talking extended family shows up and they all squeeze together on that couch and we have a really powerful moment where daisy asks her younger brother how college is going and he responds and she starts crying and is like, oh my gosh, Harrison, her brother's voice, it sounds like your voice. Yeah. Because she had mentioned to Joey before that after getting her implant, sometimes the voices didn't sound exactly the same. And so she had this first time moment where she's like, oh, that sounds just like Harrison's mm. voice. And she started crying. I mean, it was like, it was a powerful moment. And even the way the brother was like, she's like, how's college? And he's just like, it's going good. Like, he I know, even, I'm like, I'm like, are you an actor? Like, what is this? Like, it's, who responds like that? Was, he, they're it's a Christmas, joy. Like, they're literally our Christmas family. Because it's like, it's pure joy. it was just so sweet. <laughs> And so, like, even if he's like, yeah, I've just been absolutely partying my ass off. <laughs> the way he said it was just like, yeah, it's been going good. And then Grandpa's like, that's my girl. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Every, every, every no, Grandpa. I'm just Grandpa, like, what the hell? Grandpa pops in and he's just like, and Joey's like, oh, man, after I met Daisy, I was like, I'm in trouble. He's like, you mean you're blessed. Yeah, he's like, no, no. He says, you're not in trouble. You're blessed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> literally, like, like, he literally, and he said something like, she's the real deal. Oh, you know, you got a beautiful family when grandpa is complimenting is like, the granddaughter, not only complimenting, but also there for any of this That's shit. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, love my grandpa. He'd be in sitting he in the corner. no the idea <laughs> that you were even getting married. He had no idea about my, my, my life. No clue. Like he's an old school war dude. Like he's just like, I don't know. I play golf. Like, call me if you want to play golf. Like, that's the two conversations <laughs> I ever had with man. Let a guy going. You meet my grandson. <laughs> You're lucky. You're one lucky son of a gun. Come here. Yeah, none of that shit. So like, this is like incredible. When, you got, is, when you got multiple levels of support, I mean, I know, it's incredible. And this is also coming off of then, by the way, Daisy's moment with her friends. Yeah. Where when she's describing her relationship with Joey to her friends, she is like, she is bursting at the seams yeah. with joy. Yeah. Like, 
her joy was so contagious. Like her laughing, like explaining everything. I was like a little overcome yeah. with just like this joyous emotion. And then you bring it into the family. And then, you know, we had gotten previews with Joey um, having conversations with the family because obviously we know this. Joey is like, hey, um, obviously I have feelings for Daisy. Daisy's the one who says, I need you to meet my family first yeah, before I can tell you that I'm falling for you. Right. So this That's is pretty a pretty hardcore big, to be yeah. like, you know, but I understand because we've talked about this where it's like, you know, if you meet someone and none of your friends get along with them, we talked about how like that might be a really good indication of like, it's not a good fit. Cause you're like, right. I've chosen these people to be close with. They don't approve of this. That's something to think about. Right. She's done that with her family, where she's like, "These people are my everything. They're my right. support system. They nurse well, me back to health." Specifically, yes, I was saying specifically they, with everything that that Daisy's gone through health wise. It's like these people have been here for me in a way that yeah. I can't explain. Like, I need to know they matter more than you. Correct. And so, yeah. like, <laughs> yes, for real. And then yeah. when you meet them, you're like, "Oh hell yeah, they do! Like yeah. they're incredible." Yeah. So then it's like I get. At first, I was like, "Wow, that's kind of a gauntlet." And then I met, you know, then we meet him and I'm like, got, oh, got, got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It makes so sense. So she's having these question marks. She's like, I'm not sure. You need to meet my family first yeah. before I can say this. Again, this is another moment where we go, clearly Joey, da he's over the moon about Daisy. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have his final three that are Rachel, Daisy, and Kelsey A. He seems to very much be vibing with all of them. Yeah. But with specifically with Daisy, he's willing to be like, I'm... I'll conquer my fear of possible rejection by being like, you don't even know quite if you can say it yet. And I'll happily yeah. show up to your family and be like, yeah, this is how, this is what she says and not be on edge versus we see him later with Maria clearly from the moment he gets onto that boat with Maria, he's different, awkward, yep. not yep. into it because Maria almost left. But Daisy even though she's like, I don't know, I can't quite say I'm falling for you yet without the fam. He's like, no problem. Yeah. So clearly he's got some serious strong feelings for Daisy. He's got some serious strong feelings. And I wonder too, because there's a difference between leaving and then like, I'm not in love with you yet. Sure. I wonder if there's a little bit of like, whatever your biggest fear is, you're kind of attracted to. Interesting. Like the fact that she hasn't said I love you and he's you would think if your biggest fear is someone not because he did I don't think he ever said his biggest fear is someone leaving it's his biggest fear is someone not, not having the same feeling interesting she's the only person that really hasn't like he was, was actually made it clear yes she's not reciprocated the feelings yeah and he's the most into her and you would think if that was like a run for your life trigger then her saying that, that he'd be like, well, I think we're done then because I don't want to get down the road and then realize you're still not there. True. But the fact that he's gone even more in with her, it's That's almost like a self-fulfilling. It's almost like, you you're know, it's drawn like, it's to like when you... someone says like, oh, I hate the bad boys. I don't want to date any more bad boys. And they and only, then they ever only date, date bad, bad boys. boys. Yeah. And you're like, well, what is this? You know what I mean? You're like, oh, yeah. it's kind of giving a little bit of that energy where it's like, why are you the most drawn to the person that has, it's almost like you want their love the most because they haven't given it to you. That's a very, yeah, that's very interesting. Thing I'm about. catching on a little that's bit. That's Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. Okay, Dr. Evan. Dr. Evan. But, you know, he, so he's willing to, he's willing to take that risk with yeah. Daisy. But then when we end up sitting down with her family, what ends up happening, which I found to be quite interesting, again, to get a perspective, more of a per perspective on who Daisy is. Daisy ended up kind of being more, she's more reserved and has the walls up. And her family, they're like, baby girl, just go for it. Go for it. It was interesting to see then, you know, when she sat and talked with her mom, I think because of obviously editing and everything too, and what I just assumed was going to happen is that mom was going to be like, well, okay, I don't know. Right. You know what, what do you think about this, 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 and this? And mom was just kind of like, oh, so you sound like you're the one who's, you know, putting the guard up and saying yeah. no. And it ended up almost being like Uno reverse with Daisy, where her parents were having these more sit downs. We didn't really see Joey talking with anyone from the family. We just saw Daisy mostly yeah. with her family and them looking at her and being like, hey, you know what? And what was so interesting too is, Daisy having like this moment of realization when she was like, I, with all the struggles that I've been through, because I feel good finally, 
it's almost like if it doesn't work out with this guy, like it'll be okay because I feel good. Yeah. You know, and it's and, like, what's the worst case, you know, compared yeah. to what I've gone through. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so she was just processing through that. So that was like a, a very interesting window to see into. Um, but yeah, then when she, when she had her conversation with her dad, her dad, Brandon, I mean, those two have a special wow. connection. Wow. Um, you see that they have a similar sense of humor because yeah. we've seen Daisy's humor throughout this and her making her little quips throughout it. And, and he's just, you know, he's just like, just, just take it, take the chance, like take the shot. Yeah. Cause you're not, if you are, your daughter's coming back to the house with this guy that you don't know mm-hmm. on this TV show and she's made it this far, you're definitely preparing for sweetheart, slow down. Let's figure this out. Let's have him prove to us. Right. You're not preparing for lighten up. You, yeah. sh- you go for it. You're definitely not prepared to have that conversation. So it probably shocked them a little bit when they, she shows up and she's like, yeah, I'm just, I have my walls up. And you're like, wait, you made it this far with the walls up? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You're usually thinking well, they by said, this time you're fully in. So you know? they said it was unusual that she was holding back right. this way, which was another moment as an audience member where you go, like, okay, is she holding back because of the process and because waiting for the family? Is she now going to all of a sudden sold on really him? open up or is she not sold on him? Like what's that middle ground? Because now that she's got the family's approval, we might next week see a Daisy who's way more like I'm open. And she did say she's falling in love with and him. And she did tell him so, that at the very end. Um, but again, is that like more, you're just telling yourself this because you've let the walls down. I don't know. It's interesting. I always I always think about this and maybe I'm wrong. But like the wall conversation, people talk a lot in this show about I have my walls up. Yeah. Is that real? Is walls up a real thing? <laughs> yes. hear, hear, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> is walls up a real thing? Yes. Or is it like when you meet the right person or you meet the person that sweeps you off your feet? Then you don't you're not even thinking about walls. But I, then you can meet you can be surprised by someone over time if you lower walls. But you know what I'm saying? Like, is walls kind of a thing when you're not quite sold on someone yet? I'll say this. I think I tend to be a walls up type of person. Okay. So I would say that walls up is a real thing. Right. Yeah. Okay. I do I do. I think that it's definitely one of those things where I'm like, okay, if you and I were to ever end our relationship going yeah. back out, I'd be like Hey, I'm going to maybe come off in our sit downs warm and like I am open, but I'm not. I'm Got definitely it. like protecting myself and not letting you in to a certain extent for a while. Okay. Because I'd be, I don't know. Yeah, no. I just, just something. I'm just, I'm sorry to shoot down your no, theory. No, no, no. I'm just saying for me personally. I'm just bringing up, just bringing up the conversation. No, no, I think it like, is an interesting conversation. I think that is the case for some people. You know for what sure. I mean? Where it's like you have, like you think it's called walls up, but it's really just like, I'm not really into this person yeah. yet. You know what I mean? Like it's a cloud, but like you need the the right person. You're like, I'm in. Yeah. You know what I mean? But maybe you can be over time. You can grow together into something. Yeah. But like on that first initial contact, it's not love at first sight kind of energy. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Put out a poll. Put out I a write poll. a book about all my thoughts. <laughs> my doctor, Evan. Yeah. My doctor, Evan. My, que- my unanswered questions. <laughs> Mind surgeon, Evan. Oh. <laughs> Mind surgeon. See, now we're getting somewhere. Gosh. <laughs> MD, mind doctor. <laughs> <laughs> that feels illegal. <laughs> if it ever was MD, and everybody's like, wow, I should buy that book. And it's just, a, but like in parentheses, it's really, tiny really, really, really tiny. Small. It's just mind, mind doctor. doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's truly insane. <laughs> <laughs> truly insane. Oh, oh my God. Okay, shit. well. She has the conversation with her dad. It's just so, I mean, like he says, if you're falling in love, I think it's a no brainer. Yeah. And uh, she starts crying after they laugh together. And she's like, I missed you so God. much. It's just, oof. if Ember could tell me that once in my life, the way she did it, you know, I just know, like at I know. that age to be like 30 or 28 or something. Be yeah, like, I think oh, she's like 24. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> be, I know you think everyone's like 47 your age. and just, no, but to be, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Uh, but to be, you know what I mean? To have an adult daughter say something like that in the way that she did. It's like, I know. that's what life's about right there. Um, what? She tells Joey, fall in love with you. She says, regardless kind of of what's going to happen, she is ready to move forward with him, give it her all. And he says that he feels the same mm-hmm. way. And I feel like that's the only moment. Maybe I'm forgetting, but I feel like that was a moment when he's like, oh, I feel that. I don't know if he said that to everybody yet. 
the reciprocation. Yeah. No, I a think bit. he's all in with Daisy. Yeah, I'm still he, not sold that Daisy's that all way. in with him. Yeah. I think she's like into it. Yeah. But I think she's a, I think she's a slow burn in general. I agree. Like I could see her dating in the real life and still being like, yeah, six months and I'm, we're now calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. No, that, 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 that makes sense. Doesn't yeah. she? Yeah. She just gives me that energy. Yeah. No, that makes sense for sure. Um, okay. Well, last we yes. have, Maria. well, who we were waiting to meet the sprinkle king. Uh, what a letdown in regards to the location. I was pissed because it's like, dude, we saw in the beginning of the show, the backyard in this just estate. So with a cigar, <laughs> balling out, sprinkle king, and then with his and sprinkle then, empire. And then all of a sudden, we're like in New York, in like like clearly an Airbnb. And I'm like, what? Well, I've been waiting starts. for this for two months. Well, it and you give me an Airbnb in New York, it's, and not even New York City, like. New York, like Niagara, like way up there. <laughs> so the whole thing starts with them being like, hey, we're meeting at Niagara Falls to go on a boat ride. And the second it said Niagara Falls, New York, I was like, don't, don't no. say it's true. <laughs> don't say that we're not actually going to Canada for yeah, Maria's. Unless they live on the other side of the falls yeah. in Canada. Like, <laughs> then, what then, am I missing excuse here? Excuse me. So it appears as if we did not get to go to Maria's actual home which was devastating. I wanted, I wanted the full experience. We did not get it. I know, I know, I know, I know. We were expecting like the full estate tours, you know. He was going to do like a Cribs episode. <laughs> That's what we were hoping. <laughs> I was hoping for something. But Lar Like Great Danes running in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. Oompa Loompas. You know what I mean? Yes. A chocolate river. <laughs> something, you know. But... No, a condo and and I think upstate in, in Grand Rapids. No, it wasn't Grand Rapids. In upstate Niagara. New York, yeah, Niagara. Okay. Well, Maria starts it out, and she's like, "Hey, it's not her home, but we're going to be going on the same boat that I believe they went on for the Office episode for Jim and Pam's wedding yes. when they did the Niagara Falls, I yes. believe, which That's feels exactly like what it was. which yeah. feels like it's good luck. So yes. we're, I'm feeling hopeful. Um, but from the get go, she's a blast. It, I know, I know, we she's love a her. Blast. We I, got the I mean, go. Sorry, I, I know, I know, I know. I know. You were you were watching. You're like, oh my gosh, like she's just so fun. And she's like, let's get on this boat. And she busts out uh, shots that are from Canada. It's like maple syrup, like type Canadian. I think whiskey, it was just yeah, whiskey, maple but it whiskey. Was, yeah. But it was some from Canada, so it's like okay, here's a little bit of my home. Uh -huh. Let's do shots. And she's just the best. She's just so much fun. They're doing cartwheels on the boat. I know, but he's off he's from off. the get. He's, he's off. off from the get. He's very like. There's a lot of half smiling going on, yeah. and I'm like, and we knew it. We we immediately felt it from last week when she almost left. That that was just the game ender for her. He was done. He was like he could not hang. He was like, we just had this great date. And then she almost left. And like we said last week, I did my whole diatribe about why I totally understand why she did it. And it makes perfect sense to me. But f this is Joey's trigger, I guess. Scarred. He's scarred. And he's like, we we can't go back to how we used. We can't go back to how we used to be, baby. Is that and a he's song? Done, no, I just am throwing it out there. <laughs> that was, an, nice. that was wild. <laughs> wow. Really? What, well, you just out of nowhere started singing this random lyric that was you did it so confidently too that i just assumed it was a song and then when you said it wasn't a song i don't know that was unreal thank, thank you appreciate it okay so you didn't say it was a good song but i'll take it i, thought, I mean, <laughs> I mean what, give me more of it and then I'll, I'll be able to know no but i yeah it's it's so interesting to me you and i looked at each other we're just kind of like the second we they were standing on that boat you and i looked at each other and we go oh my god he's getting rid he's of maria getting rid of and we, we were we just yeah. felt it in our bones we we're devastated it's, devastated it's, it's amazing how, how you, he Joey? can't come back from it like but again you know i just think at the end of the day it's this well you know i'm gonna save my opinion until we get to that point but i just okay. i just feel like i think he's i think he's a little intimidated by her i think so i too. think he's kind of like i can't I can't control this. I, I don't so know too. where she's going to be. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know what to do with this level of like energy and like yeah. s 
spice. I, I like a little something I can predict. I also think, like I said before, uh, Rachel and Kelsey and Daisy, it's all been smooth sailing yeah. from the beginning. And, you know, let's be real. A lot of these episodes all have the been like, it's the Maria drama, yes. which we've loved. We don't love to see Maria stressed, but of course we want Maria to be happy, whatever she chooses, whatever she wants. But as the audience, you're like, we love yeah. this drama. But then he's also like, okay, we've been, we've walked through this drama together and now you you to me as joey did the unforgivable sin which is threatened to leave yeah so now he seems to be like it's done yeah. and everything else has gone smooth sailing i i just i really do think that joey seems to be like i like ease he likes ease i also think he is annoyed by the fact that he pushed for keeping her through all the drama and then she threatened to leave. I think a little bit I too. I think that pissed him off. I think a little bit too. I think like we said a little bit, he's a little grumpy about it. He's grumpy it. about he's it. He's like, after everything it. I've done for you, then you talk about possibly leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think once that hit, he was pissed. Yeah, I think so too. We because his energy he, was weird. He wasn't sad that she was leaving. He was mad. Yeah, he was annoyed for sure. That's the energy. Not mad, but no, he, mad he was, for he him. Was, he was frustrated. You could tell. Irritated. It wasn't like a, I'm crying i'm sad what do you mean come back it yes. was just a are you shitting me yeah that was bit. going on in his brain i think he never recovered honestly how dare he honestly how dare he <laughs> <sighs> but they have their niagara moment yeah. and um i was laughing so hard evan loves maria so much that at one point they're talking and joey's in the itms going yeah you know the question is like we've had our issues um, Marie and I, we've had our issues throughout uh, our, our time getting to know each other. And Evan just pops in and he goes, what issues? And he literally <laughs> forgot. I go, Evan, all the drama. <laughs> it's just like, this loves Maria so much. He's like, what are you talking about? What issues? He yeah. was yelling at the TV screen. <laughs> just so you, just to, just to bring it all yeah. in for you all, just a, a moment in our living room, Evan was screaming, yelling at the TV screen because he was so upset. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, but I but I do understand it. I do understand it. If you're someone who's like, I'm not built for what Maria brings to the table, which Maria brings Pure to the charisma. table, charisma, but also like fun, yeah, energy, some spice, yeah. You know what I mean? And I think if you're someone who's like, no, I want like stability and consistency, and just kind of like, I know exactly what I'm gonna wake up to tomorrow every day, then she might be too. You know what I mean? It's too spicy in that yeah. way. I don't know. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I will say another moment where I was like, okay, he's, I think he's done is when they were sitting down right after they went on the boat together. And she says that she has never brought anyone home, which was shocking to me. Right. But he says immediately, he's like, I feel partly honored, but it also makes me nervous. And that was a moment where I go, okay, I think I believe maybe I'm wrong, but I believe if that would have happened with Daisy, he would have been like, oh, I honor. love that. Mm -hmm. It would have been more mm -hmm. of like a, oh, this is great. I feel really special that she feels safe enough to bring me home as the first person she's ever brought home. Um, I think it was a way in which he was trying to find uh, where he could end things with Maria. Uh, little like little outlets where he could kind of go, oh, okay, well, there's a problem here and there's a problem here. That's what it felt like to me. Yeah. Maybe he feels like if it wasn't for the show, would you have brought me home? Yeah, no, for sure. So he's sure. a little insecure about the fact that, like, wait, if you've never brought anybody home, yeah, would I just be another one of your boyfriends? You know, or do you really actually feel strongly enough to have brought me home? Well, she does bring him home, and we finally come face to face with the man, the yeah. myth, the legend that we have been waiting this whole time—the Sprinkle God Himself, his the element. Sprinkle King, not in his home. But it doesn't matter why, because he would make any place his home because mm -hmm. his energy would fill up any room, any mansion, any building. Yeah. When we got our first shot of our Sprinkle King, I mean, what a God. <laughs> Truly, what a legend. This man had a pinky ring, yeah. a signet ring on his pinky that looks like it like seals wax. Yeah. With like him delivering letters to like, you know, the other candy companies being like, this season, <laughs> the, vanilla's in. And yeah. he's like, I decree with yeah. his signet ring. Like the candy he's kings. the fucking boss. Yeah. He's the boss. Okay? He's definitely a part of the Illuminati of candy. <laughs> yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? 100%. He's like, he decides what candy we eat. 
Yeah, you know that scene in um in The Devil Wears Prada where she's like, "Oh, you think it's just a blue belt? Well, that blue is cerulean." And she goes on the whole Meryl right. Streep is just like, "And it's been decided for you yes. by people like me." And da 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 da. You think That's- sweet tarts are just sweet tarts? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. You think you think maroon sprinkles are just maroon sprinkles no they are the next 15 years of influence remember in. how out of nowhere red velvet was just it that was Maria's i decided dad. that 24 <laughs> years ago i was sleeping on red velvet sheets and i thought to myself wouldn't i want to just eat me right now now what how can i do that you know what i mean velvet sheets he 100 percent would he decided this years ago can you imagine like sitting down with him and him like just he would know he'd be like no no no, that's not the right wine you're drinking the wrong one let me give you this full-bodied cab yeah and he'd be like you'd have the best glass of wine Mm -hmm. in your life also you know it was an airbnb that they were in because the man wasn't smoking a cigar which really upset me Uh, it really upset me for him i was like give this man a damn cigar he's enjoying pay for the smoking fee or whatever he's enjoying this full-bodied cab (laughs) clearly they did not pay for the smoking fee because you know he would have been smoking you know that he would have offered joey a cigar like you know this if he's being filmed smoking a cigar in her like preview he would have been in this moment of stress smoking a cigar with his cabernet okay or whatever i'm so sorry probably it's probably something so much fancier that i don't know the name of maybe a zen maybe a zen i'm not sure does zen go well with dessert yeah yeah I'm well, sad. Port. He probably I, did port. Then, I'm yeah. really sad that we didn't have a full I like because if we would have been at his home, it would have been. Like, he would have been the best guy if you were a producer on the show. He would have been the guy that like when you pull up to the house to start filming, oh. that like after you're filming, oh. the, the 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 like crew. Yeah, he's giving tastings out to his he new be, wine he that, he's, be, that he's releasing yes. soon. He would be taking Everyone's care of everybody. Sent home with like a jar of the new sprinkle that hasn't come out yet. <gasps> yeah. You know what I mean? Did you see his necklaces? That man would have taken care he's of got, everyone on the crew. He's got that. I'm going to take care of you energy. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Now, you know, so we see him. We're like, oh my gosh, yeah. he's the one who created Red Velvet. Like the phenomenon. Mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. he, this was the Cerulean Belt. This is the Red Velvet. Um, and he is like, hey, if Joey hurts my baby girl, he's going to have a problem on his hands. And they've got yeah. this like godfather she music says, ripping If Maria it. gets hurt, it's a problem for Joey. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I don't even know what I'm, I'm trying to think of like what it's hard to sing Italian music, but he had like godfather music, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Playing the whole time. And and then we see she's got her, her family's there. I believe her brothers yeah. and her dad's like, she's never brought someone home. I've never seen her be affectionate with yeah. anyone. And the brothers are like, yeah, normally. Did he? Did they say she's the heartbreaker? She's the, heartbreaker. She's the one ending yeah, things. She's like the, or yeah. she's the one. So we get the energy that Maria's normally in the driver's seat. Yeah. And she's breaking hearts, which all lines up with yes. this queen. It all makes sense. A hundred percent. But they're like, yeah, she's never brought somebody home. This is kind of wild. Right, like that we're right. having this first experience. And mm-hmm. so all of the audiences, but of course on edge, like, oh, no. Is Maria's dad going to like shut this shit down and be like, absolutely not. I do not approve. You will not be the heir to my Sprinkle legacy. We're Mm. all expecting that. Turns out our Sprinkle deity has a heart of gold. You know what I mean? Well, what it is, is it's (laughs) it's, it's hard shell. Yes. Soft, soft insides. Hard candy (laughs) shells. He's like, if you come into this family... You'll be more than a son to me. That's what he said. And I'm, you know his sons are like, what the hell? <laughs> I know, he said, if, Wait, you, you just say? if you get engaged to Maria, you'll become more than a son to me. <laughs> his brothers are like, what? That was him telling him, by the way, that he would become the legacy. That was. That was him. I'm going to give you the keys. I don't trust my fucking sons. They're insane. <laughs> that was the legacy. That was the legacy moment. Because he said, if you. He goes, you see this key? I'm like, <laughs> It's, it's a huge key takes out like, key to the city. Yeah, you just you see this key? <laughs> this opens up the vault to the heart of the kingdom. Prove your worth. And you'll become more <laughs> than a son to me. But he literally said, if you if you and Maria end up getting engaged and getting married, you'll become more to a son, more than a son to me because you will be the one who's going to be there for the woman who means more to me than life. Mm. I was so jealous hearing Maria's dad talk about her. He's like, she's not Maria. She's my angel. 
she's my princess. Yeah. She's the center of my universe. And I was so jealous. I was like, oh my God, this man, he absolutely worships the ground that she walks on. Yeah. But then when he sat down with Joey, at first it was a little bit like, so I don't like that. It was the right, energy right, of right, like, right. he didn't say I don't like this, but he was like, so there's other. Like, I felt like he was acting. Like there was even a couple moments where he's talking about all this stuff and then he just kind of looks at him like, like, yeah. like, a, like he was like he was an actor, like doing a movie look. He just kept doing this side. But he literally, he was just like, hey, there's other women here. And if I was in your situation and you're out here telling Maria that like, you know, that you have fallen for her, but then you've saying it to other women. And then Joey, Joey stepped in. And again, he's the, Joey is the expert at this. He, with some of the other families, he was like, lay I back. see you, I feel you. I'm going to lay back. But he knew that the Sprinkle King would appreciate if he stood up. A show of force. And so he stood up and he goes, you know what? First of all, I, I actually haven't said those things because I'm holding back to protect people. Maria has let me know mm-hmm. that she's fallen for me. Mm-hmm. And he kind of like took the reins. And Nick, Maria's father, seemed to very much respect that because as soon as Joey did that, he was like, you have my blessing. <laughs> A lot of people tell me. That red velvet's their favorite flavor, but that's only because they know I created it. You told me today you don't even like red velvet. That was it. And I appreciate that level of honesty. That was exactly that level of strength. That is exactly. I what. should have you killed, but instead, I will reward you. That was a dangerous game you played, but it's all dangerous games. That was exactly what it is. I present to you Rolls Royce. <laughs> that was a hundred percent. It was either your death or this Rolls Royce. <laughs> That's a hundred percent what it was because it went from that to literally. Everyone keeps kissing my red velvet ass. But that's <laughs> I like that. It's Joey didn't kiss the ring. He uh, really uh, didn't. And because of that, the father respected it. And then we have this moment where then all of a sudden it's a full switch up and Maria's sitting with dad and dad's like, do you love him? Mm-hmm. And Maria starts bawling. And he's yeah. just like, I could tell. He's yeah. like, I've never seen. And then he's saying to Joey, he's like, I've never seen her like this. And yeah. he keeps saying, I've never seen Maria glow yeah. like this. And now my heart is breaking into a million pieces because not only. <laughs> yeah, because she's never brought someone home. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I've never seen Maria like this. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're the best guy she's ever brought home. He's like, oh, that means. So <laughs> <laughs> but my heart broke into a million pieces yeah. when all of a sudden Maria's talking with her friend and Maria's friend is like, I know that you can be guarded and this, these can be the way, the ways that you are. But I can tell that all of a sudden, like you're vulnerable, you're opening up, yeah. like you have had your wallop with him, haven't you? Yeah. And now all of a sudden you're showing him and oh my gosh. And Maria is bawling and we haven't seen Maria like yeah. this at all. Maria has been so strong through this whole process. And now all of a sudden we're seeing this side where we're like, oh my God, she really, really, really likes him. And I'm devastated. Yeah. Because what I was hoping was going to happen if she was getting, um, not getting a rose this episode, was that all of a sudden Maria would be like, I've realized that I don't like him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't want to see, I didn't want to have to see Maria hurt. This is what really was devastating to me. So we were going to see Maria hurt because we discover that she's actually is in love with Joey. And then we get to be introduced to that God of a man, her father, and then have him ripped out of our hands like that. It's upsetting. It's wrong. Honestly. It's wrong. It's truly wrong. wrong. It's morally wrong. But her dad is just like, go for it. Yeah. Like, do it. Mm -hmm. Be with him. You've never been happier. And I'm like, look at this man who's just like, this is my angel, my blessing, my girl. And I'm a, and I loved him because he's like, I'm protecting the woman who's the most important woman to me in the world. But also I respect everything about my daughter and she likes you. And so I'll love you. Yeah. That was the energy. And I loved that. It wasn't just this whole, like, you have to fully prove. Yeah. He was there. To just be like, I love my girl, and if she loves you, then welcome to the family, and I'll love you more than a son. You well, know what I mean? Unfortunately, the sprinkle gates got locked back up. The sprinkle gate got the sprinkle gates got locked back up. But listen, then we have a full. Then we have a moment where Maria gets a full uh, a s- slideshow. Oh yeah. Of her growing up and her and Joey are sat outside and they're seeing all these home videos of Maria growing up. So I was like, okay, maybe. And Joey was not feeling it. No. And he was already, he had already made his mind up. So he was sitting there kind of going, that's crazy. And it was hurting. It was devastating to me. But I was like, maybe they're doing a number on us because she's getting the slideshow treatment, which they give to their faves. 
Maybe that's a sign that she'll be our next bachelorette. She's getting the slideshow treatment. Please and thank you. <laughs> but when they were doing the slideshow and her dad and family, but specifically They're her dad, through was looking window. through the window the whole time, just watching the videos of her nodding, going, that's my baby girl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pure love it was so sweet it was so it was sweet so sweet we need him we need we need more of this yeah. man we need more of this man and we'll get more of this man if marie becomes the next bachelorette because you know yeah. first of all they'll be filming we'll finally get her home we'll see the sprinkle kingdom we'll get her home and you know that's her she said i am daddy's little girl yeah like she will maybe she'll bring daddy with her yeah i wouldn't be surprised you know what I mean? They'll Correct. have sugar themed dates. It'll just be fabulous. Yeah. But Maria decides that she's going to let Joey know yeah. that she's falling for him or that she's in love with him or whatnot. And uh, she goes outside with him. She's building up to say it. I, I, I've been wanting to say to you, da, 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 da. And then she stops herself. And that she I'm was like, grateful you're here. And yes. Like, what? And I, she's like, I don't know why I did that. I felt like she could feel what was happening. I think she, I think she, tr like she inherently trusted her gut. Yeah. And then thought about it and then overthought it. And then like yeah. at the end when she's like, I love you, you could tell it was too late. You could tell that she knew it was already over yeah. when she didn't tell him the first time at the house. And then she tried to kind of make up for it. And it's like, your gut was screaming at you. I this felt something's like, no, off. that was her gut. It's not happening. It was her gut. It was just like, Joey's weird. He's yeah. weird. When she was saying all those things to him, his face the whole time was just like this. He was always, he was just non-responsive. He just didn't have any, there was no romantic energy no. going on, which was unusual because they, on their one-on-one -on -one date, their chemistry was popping. Exactly. And I felt like she was a little bit in panic mode after last week that she was like, she filling, knew, she was filling the space she knew and that she's she said used it. to being in the driver's seat. Yeah. And she's all, she, baby girl, you stay there forever. Get back to the driver's Get seat. Get back to the driver's seat, okay? Um, but then we end up having the rose ceremony and ever, all the women look absolutely stunning and Maria, right before Joey's about to give the first rose out, Maria's like, can I talk to you for a second? And in that moment, she says, uh, by the way, I, I am falling in love with you. Yeah. And you see his face that he was like, okay. And you know that he was, pl it seemed like he was planning on not giving her a rose. Well, and he now like, it just made put his it, head down. Like, oh no. Now it's even more of a like thing it's if like I don't give you a rose. you're fighting for your job. You're like, I know that you just fired me, but... Uh, I promise I'll start working hard now. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, got it. Um, if you could walk into this meeting that I prepared for you, we're <laughs> letting you go. Here's your severance. You know what I mean? Like that's, no, it had that energy. Sure. And so then he ends up going back, giving the rose. He was the first rose to Daisy, second rose to Kelsey and last rose to Rachel. And then when Maria and Joey have their moment, I got to tell you, it was Joey. It was cold. I wasn't happy with you, my guy. So far, you've been pretty flawless. Yeah. Didn't love this. Didn't love how Didn't cold. Didn't love, how dare you be even the slightest bit of cold to our Maria? Like, truly, how dare you? He was kind of unrepairedly pissed. And he never really got past it because he had no, he didn't even shed a tear. Didn't, no. there was no, there was no sadness. It was just no like tears a. tears for Maria? I tried, but bye. And she was just like, you know, but of course, she was so gracious. Yeah. She seemed a little stunned uh -huh. but also just so you know she has she had this big smile on her face she's yeah. like it's okay it was so gracious he did not even there was nothing nothing yeah. as much as and i'll hold that over his head just so you all know so i'm going yeah. into the to the fantasy suit with that energy if you make one mistake joey you know i'm now on the tipping point <laughs> because after that maria goodbye if you hurt someone if someone else if there's a cold exit i'm yeah. not gonna be so happy you know what i mean mm -mm. it sucked <laughs> but i definitely wasn't shocked i don't know I how know. you felt i definitely felt like her time was i just felt like at the end of the day he wasn't prepared or like he maybe this personality wise too like I just felt like he was a little out of his depth. I know with her, and I, I just felt like he kind of knew it. I almost felt like like yeah. I won't be able to keep up. That's yeah. the energy. It was I like had. their one on one. It was like the thrill of his life. He was yeah. like, this was the best time ever. But he knows like, it was almost just like a. Uh, it was like he got a. Uh, so we he got say, a Ferrari and he's like, I don't even know how to really drive this. It was a little just like too fast paced, too much excitement. I think he just is like, I don't know. This isn't, I don't know how to handle this. I know. That's why I say Maria for Bachelorette, A-list submissions only. <laughs> so kind of. <laughs> they can only be A-listers. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, to be honest with you. I kind of see that. I don't see normies being able to hang. 
I see Maria <laughs> like, like, like the next like announcement of Maria's like yeah, relationship. David in sales twenty seven is no. not for no Maria. H <laughs> and needs... Block employee of the month. No, no, no Maria needs like UN. Or like a list actor, soccer player, or something. like yeah, yeah. He's something. Yeah. <laughs> they have to be ready to take the key to the Sprinkle Kingdom. That's the that's other thing kind of too. That's the big too. thing too. Joey's like, you know, he's he's gonna he's like he's our tennis pro. He's not gonna be taking over the the key to the Sprinkle Kingdom. That's a good point, Lee. Maria is gonna have like a boyfriend who's gonna be you know have his own world. Yeah, yeah. gotta be so there that, exactly, so that there's yeah. not a, a thing there. It's not a vying for the throne. There's no interest in the throne, so that he can pass the keys off. You know? <laughs> exactly, exactly. These are all you know <laughs> royal politics that we're diving into. It's here. absolutely true, and we will. The one thing I am happy about is that because Maria was sent home, yeah. we will have her at the women tell all. So which fun. is going to be so good because we are going to have the conversations with Sydney and Leha and that all of that and Medina is going to be. I mean, we're going to get so much drama now because because if Maria yes. wasn't there, it would be like just the centrical piece. In fact, I wouldn't even be surprised if at this point producers were like, "Joey, you have to let go of Maria because we need her at the Women Tell yeah. All. Like you, you can only keep her up to a certain point because we yes. need our icon at the Women Tell yes, All." Yes, I agree. You know, so that does have to happen. Just do me a favor, Maria. Don't be like taking the blame for everything. So don't, I could see her being like, you know what? I do understand that I could have rubbed people wrong way. Like I could see her being nice enough to yeah. do that. Don't do that. Hold your crown. <laughs> Apologize for nothing. Apologize for nothing. <laughs> blame it all on Sydney and let's see what happens. <laughs> Anywho, we get a preview for next week yeah. and uh, it's spicing up because it's as ja Zach Shalcross says or DJ Verzaki or whatever his oh, DJ God. name was. It's sex week. It's fantasy sweet week. And um, we see that they're bringing in some of the golden ladies mm. to mentor and have sit downs with each of the women. Yeah. We see Susan, we see Sandra, and then we see Kelsey A get sat with Leslie. Which was interesting. And Leslie is like, yeah, this week was really challenging for me because what happened, it was great. And then what happened after was a nightmare. And I was told certain things and I thought that I was the front runner and I was like, wow, this is called production because Kelsey A, it's been seamless the whole time. There's been no hiccups. And now all of a sudden, like, she probably feels really confident. And now all of a sudden... They're like, hey, we're going to have you talk to Leslie and see if you feel like your situation will your brain mirror up Leslie's. Bit. Yes, So she's 100%. either going to mirror it or, or, it's the cl or they're playing with us and it's like a guarantee that she's going to win. I think, you know what I mean? Like it's like a let's throw you off the scent and she wins. You know? I it, That preview made me think that the note, and I don't know if this is just, if Ooh, I'm making it too, from? I feel like maybe I'm just making it too, I'm feeding into what producers yeah. are selling me, but I immediately thought that note's from Kelsey A because she has the, she's she's great. She has a great overnight with, um because I bet they'll do the overnight, that conversation after the overnight. Mm. She has a great overnight with Joey and then all of a sudden Leslie sits and talks to Kelsey A. Kelsey A starts spiraling and is like, I can't do this and send and gives Joey the note yeah. and is like, hey, I'm leaving and Joey's absolutely devastated. Mm -hmm. And maybe she shows up for the final rose ceremony. She comes back. I don't know. I, yeah. I, there, I, I still, I have, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's we really shall see. It's really hard to know. It's really hard to know. I cannot pinpoint, but that's my guess of okay. who the note's from. Okay. That's my all guess. Right. Um, but family, we love you all. Yes. Please tune in on Friday. We love are going blind. to be recapping Love is Blind, going over episodes 10 and 11 and the finale. Yes. Okay? I cannot wait. I am... Shit is hitting the fan. Shit is hitting the fan. I'm chomping at the bits. <laughs> we love you all. Maria for Bachelorette. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> Bye. See ya.